and today is Aditya Mahabeda Dinka, um, also known as Anyuku Lebe, and today is another episode of Anyuku Lebe with Maya. So today we're going to be modeling electric bulb and um, you should know that a lot of ways in which we can model a lot of things it depends on um, our own option, or the choice we have, all the perspective to which we look at things um, that we want to model. So today we're going to be using this kind of method to model this um uh, this is called um the method of a curve tool but before we can um, start with that let us go to um the graphics view that i want to use uh, let's go to the image plane these are uh, the front view so we can go to the image plane and import image so um the image i want to use the reference i want to use at the, the um, desktop ball so this is what we want to use though so we import it in yeah this is it so what we do now is go to create curve to curve to curve to yeah we use ep curve to so we'll let us zoom it in zoom it in so we start from the origin right here oh, but, but before we go into that let's delete this thing that we created this thing looking at the base of the bulb is not at the center at the middle of what we want so we can pick it up and press w to move it to the center so that is at the center right now so we can start all over again go to create and select your um curve to so ep um, so we can start from the center let us zoom it in so that we can see whatsoever we're doing on the screen so this backspace so let's start here yeah. now that's not at the center yeah so yeah yeah don't worry about how it's going uh, actually we can still edit it later on so what we need to do now is make sure it's um it's kind of going to the way we want it to go so if it's not straight or something we can later on at the end of the day go and, and correct that so yeah so we press enter and then we can go over again and press um yes control vertex so we can control the vertex so um it's me, it's me, it's me. It's me. Yes. Uh, so uh, we can continue the work now. So now you can see I'm correcting the places that, are, that it's not perfect. So and that is how we do it. So go to D. Yeah, so that's all. That's it. Oh, this place is not cool, I think. So, you can go back to control vertex and control that place. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So, we're good to go. I think so. Now we select this. Let's go to um, perspective view. Select that and we'll go to um, surface and revolve. Depends on our choice on the revolve here. Now, how do we want to revolve? So it is in a Y axis that we want to revolve, and the segment here is what height. Let's increase it to 20 so that we have the full detail of um, 
the two the um, face I will need. So these norms we can change it to polygons. Depends on our choice. We can change it to polygons, and the count is six hundred. So I think we're good to go, or we can increase this to one thousand. Depends on the choice. So um, quad. The type is in quad. If you, you put it in triangle, it's gonna um, the edges on this uh, on the um, object is gonna be in triangles. But we need a square to make it perfect. So I think that is what we have here. So apply. So we have it. But here, see something. It is dark. So it's showing the um, the other side. The other phase of um, the object so we need to go to um, display mesh display and we'll see reverse so it's, it's reversed so we we'll have a bulb over there so let's go um, down to the other side of this place so we can go to our graphic view again the front view to be precise so we need a place this area again so um let's go and select the object again and click from inside Yeah. So, don't worry about not being perfect. We can all always change that. So, think yeah, yeah. Backspace if you didn't get it. So now press enter. So it's not perfect the way we want or the way it is in the. Uh, um, reference so we can always change that just press left click and go to control vertex and then we can control the vertex so that we have there. so can always control the vertex I th I hope you can see it clearly because I am finding it difficult, kind of difficult here to see it. Yeah. So we're almost done. What is this? So that is that and that. So we can bring it up a little bit. So just out click and we have the shape. So we can click it again and go to core or let's go to perspective view so that we can see the work. Let's go to curve or revolve revolve surface rather. So we see our revolve. Let's go into that place again. So we still have the settings that we use all the time. So here we have one thousand. We can go in and use it, revolve, and it will close. So, like we did the other time, this is the backspace of what we need. So, um, the backspace of what we need. So, we can go to mesh display and we'll reverse the case. So, we have a full um, cut of the place. So, we have we gone done with this. So, the other thing, the next thing that we will do is let's see go to this place then we can have let's um isolate this so we still have some other things that we need to do here but before we go let's stop the recording and then we start on the beginning so